Hi everybody. So one of the main reasons students don't succeed in this class is that they don't stay on schedule. It's very important to remember we have about two hours of math to do five days uh, per week. So it's important to print this schedule if possible if you have a printer. If you don't have a printer you could save it on your computer but make sure you're, you're reading it and you're keeping track of this schedule. So it's an Excel file. If you can't open it, make sure to download Microsoft Office. You can download it for free as a GHC student. Okay. So essentially, there's a lot of tasks on here and a little checkbox to tick as you get things done. But essentially, each day we have three things to do video homework, textbook homework, and a quiz. The most important of all is the video homework. That's where we attend class and we learn new concepts and we make sure you understand what you're doing. So make sure you play all of the videos and write down all of the examples. That's the most important thing. You will turn in all of your written work then after you take the chapter test. Uh, make sure you do all the quizzes and I'm going to say the textbook homework is optional highly recommended most students say yeah I do all of the textbook homework because I need the practice but if you find that the workload is too much if you're busy job kids whatever I would suggest make sure to do the video examples make sure to do the quiz skip some textbook homework to save time I understand that on the quizzes there are some textbook homework questions. So what I'm saying therefore is do whatever's on the quiz, right? And you can skip things that don't turn up on the quiz if you need to save time. So it's very important to stay on schedule. Usually if a student gets about a week behind schedule, they can't catch up because it's just too much work. So if a student's about a week behind, they're probably going to get an F, right? So, so try not to get too far behind. Um, be great to stay on schedule the whole way through. You're also welcome to go ahead of schedule. Go as far ahead of schedule as you like, right? So that's the schedule. I hope it's useful to you. It shows the days, dates, check boxes to tick as you get things done. And the other thing I want everyone to know how to do is I want you all to know how to use the Canvas calendar. If you click on the calendar, it will show due dates for all of your classes. For, for my math classes, it'll just show mainly the quizzes, but you know that each day you need to do video examples, textbook homework, and the quiz. So we don't just do the quiz each day. And the most important thing out of that is the video examples, right? But the Canvas calendar is useful to keep track of what's due in all of your classes. And you can scan through the whole quarter and maybe figure out when the final exam is. And So that's the schedule and that's the Canvas calendar and let me know if you have any questions.